This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and today we're in Colorado. I'm here with EVCS, brand new for 2022. This premier HVAC company provides top-of-the-line technology to prevent costly repairs while keeping your property comfortable all year long. I'm joined by Jose Lara. Thanks sure. so much for joining us Thank here today. Thank you for having me. You're a native here of the area in Denver. You basically have experience before you launched out on your own. Share with me a little bit why you decided to uh, bring this company to the area. It was very difficult for technicians like myself to find out what would cause problems on certain systems at the last minute. So what I try to do is find something that would be kind of like a check engine light on your car that would give us notice ahead of time before a major disaster would happen on your unit, which usually happens in the middle of winter and the heat of the moment where everything's all hot. This way it gives you a fair warning before something really major happens. So really the launch in the company is, is revolving around this technology um, that came to be. I mean, let's start off first of all. As Coloradans, we rely heavily on our HVAC systems, really to keep us comfortable year-round. Our systems are a necessity, yet most of us, I would say, take them for granted. We don't even think about them until something goes down. Um, does your team understand the urgency and do their best to get out and assess the issue? Yes. Uh, the good thing about this new technology is that we're monitoring 24-7 the system itself. So. There's no waiting, there's no, the moment we send something, we will automatically email the customer within five to eight minutes, letting them know that there was something that wasn't right with their system. Even though the system is running correct right now, there could be a potential damage or problem. I mean, in this mile-high elevation, weather can be unpredictable. Yeah. I mean, in the morning, we might be using our heater. At night, we might be I mean, later on in the day, we might be using our AC. Are both systems working properly necessary for comfort for both residential and your commercial customers? Yes, it is. Um, like you said, the temperatures, the <laughs> yeah. environment here in Colorado, is very very different one day it's hot next day it's cold same day it could be raining next day it's snowing it it's, it it varies so much um, but the comfortability of the person their home their business is still number one they still want to be comfortable no matter what the temperature of the environment outside is. Yep, we've kind of been accustomed to that. It used to be a luxury back in the day. It's kind of a necessity today. Yes. Um, as you said, you understand the urgency, obviously, of the customer. I mean, when a customer is in somewhat of a panic, they want it fixed yesterday. That's not always possible. Um, how important is communication when you're explaining to them uh, what their options are? Oh, it's it's 100% has to be there. Um, like you said, when something does go wrong, people are usually in a panic, upset, scared, angry, all these emotions, and they still don't know what to do, to how to fix it. And sometimes they just go with whichever technician, whatever they say, they believe them, they're like, yes, just do whatever. This technology now gives you, gives the customer actually knowledge of what they're looking at and what their system does. So instead of going in blindly, you have knowledge behind you. Let me ask you this, the technology, does every one of your customers have this technology or do you actually service the general public as well, those that don't? Uh, general public and also the and customers. Public. So it's a yes. combination of the two. Correct. Excellent. Before we talk about some of the repairs that you provide for, for all of them, um, let's talk a little bit more about prevention um, of some of these expensive repairs the cutting edge technology that we're basically leading you up to is what they call Sensi Predict. Explain how this came to be. How did this technology start for you? It's usually, it started when somebody would call me and they would say, hey, we're having an issue with this problem. You go out there, you don't know what you're stepping sure. into. You do not know, make, model the system, how they ran it, if they took care of it or not. Yeah. Um, there's so many elements out there that you do not know. So the unknowns were really the first point for you? Correct. Then what happened? You decided there's got to be a better way or what happened? Everything seems that is there, mm -hmm. but it's never been there for residential. 
Um, you oh. have it for commercial buildings where they call it a building automated system where okay. there's a computer and every office anywhere, they know what is happening with that system. But it's never been... Residential. For residential. So I thought, why not? What's the difference between a big building and a small one? So that's where the ideas and everything came about. I mean, um, what is this powered by? How do we know this is going to be um, here tomorrow? It's powered by one of the biggest companies out there in electronics. It's Emerson. So they do products for all over the nation, all over the country for different mm -hmm. things. Yep. That's electrical, uh, buildings, automated, you name it, anything that's automated in that Emerson's there. And that's excellent. The you, you took kind of an existing technology and put it into the homes, but obviously made it for the residential. That's pretty. Uh, it's a pretty genius move to think like that. <laughs> um, very cool. We live in an age where information is power. Uh, we no longer have to assume our HVAC unit is properly working. We now can know that it is. I mean, it's able to monitor 24/7. Tell me exactly what is it monitoring? What is it kicking back? It's it's got 10 sensors, so it monitors, monitors around 31 different elements or signals. Basically, it tells you how much heat is going into it, how much cooling is going in, um, if your filter is dirty, not dirty, but it not to the point where it says, oh, it looks dirty. No, it's actually reading the airflow going through it. Um, if your system doesn't turn on for heating that moment, um, it usually restarts, every system restarts, retries once or twice. But if it happens one time, it still notifies you that wow. there could be a potential. Summertime, same thing. Tells you how much air, how much cold air is being pushed in the house. It also informs you if there's something that's out of the norm uh, electricity-wise, where it's either pulling too much electricity okay. or too less. That could mean mm -hmm. something's wrong with the motor, something's wrong with uh, a part inside there that's causing it to absorb more electricity. So you're getting notified on that point, too, that it's something's not correct. Um, it will inform you well into days ahead if you do have a leak in your refrigerant for HVAC. So it, it stops the prog uh, progress of something going bad yeah. right then and there. Like they say, nip it in the bud and you'll Correct. definitely take care of it. Correct. I mean, this is providing an alert 24 seven on your home's really biggest investment, which is yes. quite amazing. When it, when it comes to HVAC, is early detection beneficial and can it possibly lessen the cost of repairs if you take care of it right away? Oh, definitely. It's it's exactly like the check engine light in your vehicle. Okay. If um, the check engine light goes off, you are very likely to go check it out with the mechanic, ask questions, whatever you have to do to find out why that happened. It doesn't mean that your vehicle just stopped right then and there. No, it's giving you an advance warning. And that's what this system does is give you the advance warning of there's something that could potentially happen later that's, down the road. That's excellent. I wish we had one for our body. It would oh. be so much better, wouldn't it be? Yes, sir. Not only does it alert the homeowner but that there's an issue, but it actually alerts one of your techs. They also know. How does that work, and can you save a lot of time just by the tech knowing what he's coming out to see? Oh, definitely. Um, so the technician, at the same time the customer gets an alert on their phone, their computer, yeah. any technology, the technician will receive one exactly the same. Yeah. But on his end, on the technician's end, would get more information of who the customer is, what system they're using, what they've been running with, what they've been using, uh, filter size, uh, what everything you need to know to not go into that unit blindly. You already, before you get there, you already have every known tool or part that might be needed. But at the same time, they give them that information, the technology is there to say, it looks like it's leaning towards this problem. So it gives you the fair warning to show up and do your job I mean, it's quick. 
It's just like you said, it's the engine light. I mean, for the consumer, I get an engine light, know something's wrong, yet what the, you, they plug it in, they're getting data, they're getting codes, they're getting everything. So you guys have the same exact thing that's powerful. I mean, um, if a unit goes down, not every down system requires a replacement, is repair a possibility, and is your team qualified to repair most of the major brands out there? Yes. Um, every system can be repaired. Okay. Uh, it just depends on how bad or how old the system is. Okay. But then again, there's been systems out there that have been well over 20 years and still wow. rocking like a champ. It's just knowing how to take care of it, just like a vehicle. You always take care of it, maintain it the best you can, and the longevity is there. It will always be there. For sure. I mean, as much as we maintain a system, um, sometimes it's beyond repair, like you say. Or maybe a customer wants to upgrade an old system. Does your team provide full installs? And is that on existing homes? Or do you do uh, new installs? I mean, new construction as well. We do both. So okay. new stalls uh, in new construction, old residentials. Uh, it doesn't really matter. If there's one that's needed, we will put it in. That is great. Although you're able to offer emergency repair services, for those that are in a panic, I mean, the best solution is still some preventative maintenance. Um, has Sensi kind of eliminated or at least reduced the need for a checkup or a tune-up? Um, do you still recommend that? You always need a checkup, unfortunately, okay. for everything. Um, all this system is doing is basically alerting you if there's a possibility of something that could happen down the road. It does not tell you um, that you need to do it. You should be expected to know to exactly. do it. Uh, but this system itself, this new technology, has been tested to predict 80% of future failures before anything major happens. So 80% is big to find out that you could save thousands of dollars before something major happens. Very impressive. Regardless if you have an AC system or a heating system down, why is this not a do-it-yourself project? Expect when we're talking about a major repair, why should consumers rely on a professional? Safety for one. Okay. Two, uh, with all the new technology that's coming out, all the new systems, it's very difficult to kind of guess or YouTube or sure. Google, whatever. It's, things change dramatically, just like computers change. Every That's all these systems are. They have computers, microchips, sensors, and you need somebody that's been trained, certified, and knowledgeable how to repair these or yeah you know replace them yeah absolutely i always tell folks out there make them aware that a professional is doing that especially when you're talking about a a big investment okay like yes. a system like that you don't want to mess it up be it the dead of winter or the hot heat of summer waking up in the middle of the night due to an hvac problem can be frustrating confidence is attained by hiring an experienced hvac contractor like yourself is keeping your customers safe and comfortable um, continue to be rewarding for you Yes, especially now because it gives me the, the tools to basically be ahead of it and actually put the customer first and not wait for them to call me and say, hey, I have a problem. This is, you looks like you might have a problem starting to begin. When would you like to take a look at it? So their priority is now your priority and your first, they're your first person right now. That is excellent. Prevention is the key here. It's worth a pound, as they say, of, instead of regret. <laughs> Viewers, let's take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is their website. On the website, you can learn more about this company and all the services they provide, be it heating or AC units, from repairs to complete installs. They're providing uh, consultations for you on the phone. They can even do virtual consultation if that's something you need. Uh, working with world-class technology. I mean, this is a company that shows accountability no matter what. With more than 25 years of experience, they will make your system better before they sell you a new one. Having the convenience and peace of mind, really, with a check engine light for your HVAC system will help you sleep at night and also maybe save you some dollars in the long run. Once again, that is 24 EVCS, top of the line technology, keeping your property comfortable 
all year long. This is Gary Atensa with CNTV, and if you don't know, now you know.